Today we're diving into a little-known secret that might just change the way you see those high-end Rolex showrooms. Have you ever walked into one, taken a look around and thought, why are there so many elegant date justs and barely any of those badass sports watches everyone's after? Well, it turns out there's a method to the madness, and it's wrapped up in what's dubbed the Rolex 7030 rule. Basically, for every 70 more formal non-steel pieces like the sleek Oyster Perpetual that fly off the shelves, Rolex gives the green light to the dealer to bring in 30 of those elusive sports models. Now, I bet you're curious about what it takes for these dealers to get in on the action and become a go-to spot for snagging a piece of that Rolex glory. It all comes down to a pretty tight-knit agreement they sign off on with Rolex. This isn't your average handshake deal. We're talking about a full-on contract that lays out the do's and perhaps even more critical, the don'ts. But what exactly is hiding in those pages and how does it affect where and how those shiny timepieces find their way to your wrist? Let's dive into that and uncover the secrets behind the sparkle and prestige of those boutique displays. Hey everyone, welcome back to Opulent Oasis. If you're intrigued by our content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest scoops. So you're thinking about getting a Rolex, right? Well, stepping into the world of these iconic watches can feel a bit overwhelming, but fear not, because that's exactly where authorized Rolex retailers come into the picture. They're your personal guides in the luxury watch universe. They've got the skills, the knowledge, and all the insider info to help you sift through the options, understand the nitty-gritty of each piece, and make a choice that you're going to be proud of for a long, long time. Obviously, Rolex is pretty selective about who gets to represent their brand. These authorized retailers, or as they're officially known, ORRs, are given the nod to showcase and sell Rolex watches, promising to keep the luxe and glory of the brand shining, no matter their location. However, Rolex keeps a tight lid on the number of these authorized hotspots to ensure that exclusivity and excellence remain the name of the game. And when it comes to where you can pick up these prestigious timepieces, it's all about the creme de la creme of jewelry stores or those certified Rolex jewelers, also known as ORJs. Rolex is all about maintaining high standards, so if any retailer starts to drop the ball, they could find themselves out of the Rolex circle, but don't worry, such decisions won't throw a wrench in the works for other locations under the same jeweller, thanks to the way their agreements are set up. All right, let's dive into how things work behind the scenes with Rolex and their authorised dealers. When it comes to stocking up on those shiny Rolex watches every year, dealers have to follow a pretty specific playbook for ordering from Rolex. Basically, they're at the mercy of whatever Rolex decides to send their way. Here's the lowdown. Being on a waiting list at your local authorized dealer might feel like you're inching closer to that dream watch. But here's the twist. How quickly you move up the list can depend on how much of a premium you are in their eyes. Made a few hefty purchases before? You might just find yourself skipping ahead. But even with all that, there's no surefire way to predict when you'll get your hands on that watch. Rolex plays by its own rules, sending out watches on its own schedule and choosing what lands where. For your dealer, it's a bit like playing the lottery. They put in their order, but they don't really know what they're getting until the shipment arrives. And whatever shows up, that's what they've got to work with for the year. It's all part of the game, repeating year after year. So when you pop the question to your dealer about what new stock they're expecting, you're likely to get a shrug in response. They're finding out along with you, which adds a whole layer of mystery to the whole process. And here's a fun fact. Rolex even decides on the allocation after the watches have already been sent out. When it comes to stocking up on those Lux watches, the dealers are kind of in a bind. Rolex doesn't promise to fill every order that comes in. Basically, they call the shots, and the dealers just have to roll with it. That means your go-to dealer is pretty much in the dark about what they're getting until it actually shows up, trying to get a commitment on that watch you've been eyeing by calling in advance. That's a no-go. And if a dealer put in a request for a specific model but it never arrives, well, that order just disappears into the ether. And hey, if you're curious about more insider info or have questions, don't be shy. Drop us a comment down below. And if you're feeling extra supportive, 
consider subscribing for some cool perks. Now, on to how Rolex likes to keep a tight grip on their distribution. It's all about controlling the flow of those precious timepieces. What does this mean for retail? Well, it boils down to the price tag. Authorized dealers are locked into selling at the MSRP, or the manufacturer's suggested retail price. This is Rolex's way of keeping things consistent and exclusive across the board. You see, hiking up the price beyond the recommended retail price is a big no-no. Doing so is pretty much asking for trouble, as it could lead to Rolex pulling the plug on their agreement. This particular rule is a major point of contention and has definitely caused some tension among those in the know. Now for a bit of insider contract knowledge, Rolex expects its jewellers to keep a certain selection of watches on hand all year round. They sit down with each jeweller and handpick a basic lineup from their extensive catalogue, tailored for each store. Sticking to this lineup is crucial for keeping that coveted status as an official Rolex jeweller. But here's where it gets really interesting. Rolex has the right to drop in for a surprise visit. They might want to take a look at the sales and warranty records, or even do a full inventory check to make sure those rare models are actually in stock. This clause in their agreement gives Rolex the power to keep a close eye on things. And of course, this level of oversight provides plenty of ammo for those who criticize the luxury watch industry's more secretive practices. Here's a quirky Rolex rule that might raise your eyebrows. Rolex has dibs on any watch assigned to its authorized dealers or jewelers. So if a dealer decides to shut down, stop selling Rolex watches, or hits financial rock bottom, they can't just sell off their stock to anyone else, or toss it into the wilds of the open market. This is Rolex's way of keeping a tight leash on their watches and making sure they don't flood the secondary market. Now, if a dealer goes rogue and sells these watches to someone else, they're basically asking for trouble. They've stepped over the line, broken the contract, and now they owe Rolex for the full price of those watches. And guess what? Rolex gets to buy them back. This rule gives Rolex the ultimate say in ending its relationship with any dealer or jeweler for pretty much any reason they see fit, whether it's because the dealer was dabbling in the grey market, didn't follow through on orders, or even if they just wanted to change their business setup. The standard Rolex sets are sky high, and the list of rules dealers need to follow is long but necessary to maintain and boost the brand's value. This approach has its pros and cons, and it's a tightrope that dealers have to walk carefully. It's not just Rolex playing this game. Other luxury brands like Audemars Piguet and Patek Philippe have similar tight controls. But Rolex, in particular, is known for holding the reins especially tight in this arena. And that wraps up our deep dive into the world of Rolex's authorized dealers. We hope we've shed some light on some of the mysteries surrounding them. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for all the latest Rolex insights. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop us a comment below. This is Opulent Oasis signing off. Catch you on the next adventure into the luxe world of watches. Oh, and before you go, here's a little nugget of info. Did you know that authorized Rolex dealers get to pick who they sell those prestigious timepieces to? Yep, it's true. Stay tuned for more revelations on our next watch journey.